And Malacanang remains hopeful in prosecuting and getting the conviction of plunderers in the multi-billion peso pork barrel scam. Deputy Presidential Spokesperson Abigail Valte made the statement in reaction to concerns aired by some quarters that attaining justice would be difficult, especially once President Aquino steps down from power in 2016. Valte stressed that the Aquino administration's commitment is to make sure that anyone who is supposed to be accountable is made accountable. More from this report from Rock Ignacio. Malacanang remains optimistic in prosecuting those involved in the alleged pork barrel scam. Deputy Presidential Spokesperson Abigail Valtes said this on the reports that the testimony of former TRC Chief Dennis Cunanan differs from the testimony of whistleblower Ben Horlui. Cunanan faced the Senate inquiry as provisional witness. Hindi lang doon sa testimonya tayo umaasa, pati doon sa documentary evidence. Kasi makikita mo naman yan na inendorse mulat sa ganitong ahensya, etc. The, the document trail has been properly laid out. Malacanang reiterated that the Office of the Ombudsman has the authority to determine the basis against those who will be charged. The Department of Justice has already filed cases against those who allegedly pocketed billions in public funds through the use of fake non-government organizations. It's possible in any case that uh, witness A will be testifying to another aspect of the case while witness B will be testifying on another completely different aspect of the same case. But that being said, ang magiging final arbiter po niyan, nung testimonya nung dalawa, ay yung korting didinig doon sa kaso kung sakaling i-file na po siya ng Office of the Ombudsman. The palace official stressed that the position of the government is to make the investigation evidence-based. Iba ho yun. Yung kaso ko kasi ang Department of Justice ang humahawak. So whatever happens on, in, on the Senate floor is actually the business of our legislators. Ang concern po ng executive branch ay siguro duhing malakas yung mga kasong finafile po ng Department of Justice. Meanwhile, Valte said that the Department is already studying the possibility of Janet Lim Napolis being transferred to a regular detention facility if the court allows it. Napolis is the alleged mastermind of the 10 billion pork barrel scam. For the People's Television, Rocky Nashville.